I'm experimenting with nanobots, robots that are so small, thousands could sit on the top of your adorable little nose. Ah, kids! Look what I found in our tech recycle bin. Spider shoes. I'll be the head of Comic Jubilee. Hey, I'm returning that for some extra Jubilee spending money. There are billions of plastic bottles on the planet, and you need that one. Really? Billions? That's serious cash. That's serious pollution. It takes about 450 years for one plastic bottle to decompose. I'm working on an easy way to clean up all this trash. Here. Looks like I won't have any trouble finding a replacement. Some nanobots eat organic garbage like orange peels, but others love inorganic things like plastic. Okay, Plasmatron, let's see what this little guy looks like. Now I'm adding hydrogen gas to see if it will activate the nanobot. Yes! No! Why does this keep happening? You're welcome, Angie. I'm never going to figure this out! Poppycock, you've discovered how not to make a nanobot. That's progress. Look at J.D. and Nikki. They're working on their Instapants, and they failed 99 times. Too tight, too tight, too tight! Make that 100. But they will figure it out. And hopefully very soon! You're right! Back to garbage recycling nanobots! This time, I'm adding helium gas to activate the nanobot. Yes! Mr. Edison's right! You can't just give up because of a few failures. Now, will it eat the plastic? Now, will it replicate itself? I've made a garbage recycling self-replicating nanobot! I take it you want to see my garbage recycling nanobots. <laughs> you had me at garbage. <laughs> Just think, one day nanobots may revolutionize science, and some, like these, are made out of carbon. You mean? Yes, they're made from organic compounds. Just like us. That's so cruel! Whoa, I'm gonna need more garbage! No problem. We are kind of messy. Fumbled! Help, please! Hurry! I'll get that. Stop! Trash goes in here! We can't risk letting the nanobots out! We're going to need way, way, way more trash. J.D., would you and Von Bolt mind horribly going to the dump? You don't have to ask twice. May I take a closer look first? Of course. Nanobots are kind of like your super tiny cousins. Oh, they are so cute. <coughs> Hello, my little babies. Come on, big guy. We've got garbage to bag. <coughs> Kent, what happened? Well, these shoes are better at running than stopping. Now what am I supposed to do for Comic Jubilee? <sighs> Come on, I'll help you look for something else in the recycling bin. I need tech that says, Kent is the techiest. <gasps> like that. J.D. Schmeller? The Schmeller. Great name, great shape, a crowd pleaser. Okay, just make sure you don't squeeze the Schmeller. <laughs> Ew, it smells. My clothes are so gross. Ah, I've been schmellered. And back to the nanobots. Oh no, where are my nanobots? Bumbolt, time to get dirty. A dream come true, I'm sure.
I shall start there. <laughs> My words exactly, although disastrous and apocalyptic also come to mind. JD, have you seen the nanobots? You mean the ones that just ate that huge mound of garbage? I knew it! This is a cataclysmic disaster! Another good term. Keep them there. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Hurry! Kids! Kids! Emergency! You don't have to tell me. I may never get rid of this stink. Great, the stupid Schmeller goo just ate my clothes. We're leaving now! The nanobots escaped! They'll eat everything in their path! I know, my dear. Nikki's tracking them by satellite. At this rate, the nanobots will strip the Earth bare in nine days, six hours, and ten minutes. Even when I succeed, I fail! Ah, uh, but every failure brings new, intriguing questions. Yeah, like, how do you stop a ferocious eating machine? It's not like we could just give them a food time out. <sighs> Wait! Maybe we can! If we can quarantine them. Quarantine? Isolate them. Cut them off from food and stop them from spreading. Might I suggest a visit to Avicenna, my old friend and quarantine expert? You'll be back in seven minutes. Hello, I'm a polymath. That means I'm an expert on many subjects and write many books. Dr. Avicenna, we were hoping you could tell us about quarantines. Uh, 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 oh, oh, ah. <laughs> quarantines should be used to isolate a sick person and to contain a disease so it won't spread. But you must know why you need a quarantine so you use the right kind. Otherwise, it won't work. Ah, my book on quarantines! Ah, oh, oh, oh. Ah, 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 oh, oh. Okay, time to go. So what is the right kind of quarantine for ravenous microscopic robots? Hmm, I'd say we need to contain them in something they can't eat their way out of. But what don't they eat? Well, glass, and steel, and cement. The abandoned blimp hangar at the old airport is made of concrete. Perfect! Good thinking, Kent! The nanobots are chasing something. They're after JD and Von Bolt! Kent, get the jetpacks! Wait, I get stinkified by Schmeller goo, and we've got jetpacks? Prototypes! Under my lab table. Go! Nikki, send JD and Von Bolt to the old blimp hangar. Look out for that trash! Hello? Did they just say something? Watch! The nanobots think that Von Bolt is their leader! Good work, Nikki! There they are! Von Bolt! Von Bolt! The nanobots are following you! Lead them into the old cement blimp hangar! Von Bolt, watch out! <laughs> Kent, go long! Go, Kent, go! And he's back! To the hangar! <gasps> <sighs> Way to go, Kent. No problem. We have a problem. Plastic windows up top. Nanobots can eat through those. We've got to deactivate the nanobots before they can escape. Maybe Kent can scare them with his red underwear. I know it scares me. It was your stupid Schmeller goo that destroyed my good silk shirt. Wait, silk, that's organic. And these nanobots are organic. So if Schmeller goo can destroy Kent's silk shirt, maybe it could destroy the nanobots. And I never leave home without one. Feed this to the nanobots. Mission accomplished. Hooray! <laughs>
<laughs> All yes. right. Woo. And all because we didn't give up. And once again, the world is saved. And I have one sweet ride to wow all my friends at Comic Jubilee. I'm okay, but I may be a little late to Comic Jubilee this year. Uh.